Let's have a look again. So now we know his power. So, so you press it, you charge it. Once ready, uh, press uh, launch. A bouncing projectile. That's con that confused me. It doesn't bounce. It just it it, it, it uh, arches. It doesn't really bounce, does it? Um, it creates a blast area upon impact. Uh, they become hindered if it touches them when when I oh only when airborne, right? Uh, so you have to hit them when it's airborne for them to be hindered. I, I, I felt like they weren't moving slower. Uh, survivors touching the blast area, which is the, when it explodes, right? Uh, become weakened. Weakened survivors lose health state if touched by blast areas. Right. Not crazy. And then hallucinations. Uh, creates hallucinations when walking around. Um... They can't be char uh, created when you're charging, so you can't do that. Uh, when they touch it, they get weakened. Don't really matter, does it? They get weakened for like five seconds or something. Who gives a shit? And the next hallucination spawn time is decreased by ten seconds. Yeah, there's no real penalty then, is there? Is there is there really a penalty to to walking through the hallucinations, guys? Oh, that's bad, isn't it? If you think about it. Uh, when you affect survival with the UV exit, requires survivors to look at you to recover from the status effects. So while looping, it might take longer for real players to remove, maybe. M no, they usually will be looking at the killer. If anything, it might be faster than bots. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so yeah, you can get rid of the hallucinations by just walking through them, and the only negative is you become weakened, but weakened doesn't do anything other than allows him to injure you if he's nearby by hitting you with the blast zone in a certain amount of time. Um, survivors can re remove hallucinations from the trial with the dispel ability. Weakened survivors take longer to dispel. Spell cannot become... Uh, if the spell is not completed, survivors become weakened and trigger killer instinct. Okay. So they might have to at least take some time to do it or something. If the spell is not completed. Does that mean if you're teleporting to them? I, I think I think I get it now. I, I get I get him now. Um, let's have a look at some of the add-ons because now we understand how it works. Yeah, I, I think I think I understand it. Uh, right, so survivors become uh, start weakened, decreases the maximum number of hallucinations that can be spawned by one. They start weakened. They do need to see you though, don't they? So it won't just disappear. It disappears when they look at you. So that will last at least a bit longer than when you're in chase, they will see you. That doesn't seem like an amazing hurry, though, right? Um, decreases teleport cooldown by five seconds. Okay. The decoy left behind after the unknown uh, teleports takes 10 seconds longer to disappear. Uh, when created, the decoy has the same terror radius and red stain as the unknown. Hmm. Okay. Doubles the UVX projectile bounce strength. I still don't get this bounce thing. Are they saying bounce wrong? Because um the the way I'm kind of seeing bounce is bounce. It bounces off walls. Okay, okay. Because I tried it and it didn't. It just exploded. So yeah, bounce strength. Survivors who dispel hallucinations suffer from the blindness status effect. Eh. Survivors, uh, oh, sorry, triggers for 20 seconds following a teleport. Increases the action speed for breaking down. That seems okay, 30%. Back in context. It's better than brutal. But it's only for uh, 20 seconds, but still, it's fast. Uh, well, uh, survivors within uh, hallucination aura range suffer from exhausted. That could be alright as well. Um, survivors damaged by the UVX blast suffer from broken. 
for 30 seconds. Huh. Okay. Interesting. That could be quite good. Uh, let's let's put that. Um, do you guess there's a time until the next hallucination spawns by 15 seconds when the survivor becomes weakened? Okay. Performing the break uh, interaction on a pallet or break wall decreases the time until the next hallucination spawns by 50%. Hit by UVX uh, while it's airborne suffer from exhausted. So exhausted and slowed. Interesting. Survivors who complete generators become weakened against UVX. So as soon as they finish a gen, you can potentially injure them really quick. Uh, I didn't use the Morino because uh, I forgot about it. I was checking everything else. I will on this one. Survivors entering the uh, aura range of hallucinations suffer from the oblivious. Yeah. Decrease your hallucinations aura range that is visible to survivors by 25%. Oh, okay. So they can see your auras. Well, your hallucinations. That's weird. I thought they'd just see them on the floor. So they can actually see them as, like, some obvious thing. So I was hit by uh, UVX while it's airborne suffer from hindered. What? Survivors become hindered if touched by UVX while at airborne. Why, why have you got an add-on what does the same? Is it longer? Five seconds instead of... Well, that seems like it'd be really good then. Because I'm assuming the, the basic hindered is probably really shit then. Or, or less than five seconds at least. Um, UVX trigger, uh, triggers a blast area upon contact with hallucinations. Hallucination can be destroyed by UVX. Doing so decreases the time until the next hallucination spawns. Yeah. Let's see if they give the, uh, the brown odds like something really good like usual. When survivors uh, successfully stares down the unknown, the unknown gains killer instinct for three seconds. Yeah. Teleport and regain a full movement speed 50% faster. See, so that, that's not bad. The Survivors who are both weakened and injured suffer from deep wounds when they dispel an hallucination. Pools of blood appear bright red. Suffer from hemorrhage for 30 seconds. Survivors hit with the blaster and suffer from oblivious. Uh, okay. Um, let's, uh, let's have a proper build, maybe, and play proper. Um... I don't, I don't really know what I'd use with my... I'm still just testing. We'll, we'll do something like this so we can test this. So, so so they get broken and this hinders them. This seems like an alright combo. So let's, let's just test. I don't get the bounce thing, guys. Do I have a real player? Oh, okay. Well, let me more you then. Um, if uh, everyone gets out. <laughs> 